2022 will also be remembered as a year that wealth and property transferred from the wicked to the righteous. Did I not say I would give you houses that you did not build and vineyards that you did not plant? 2022 will also be remembered as a year that wealth and property transferred from the wicked to the righteous. Now here we, we've got uh, Kent Christmas from December 31st of 21, last year, where he took the stage and lied in the name of the Most High telling all those who would listen that God said that 2022 would be remembered as the year where wealth would be taken from the wicked and given to the righteous. Well, today is December 14th, 2022. Anybody have any wealth fall into their lap? No? Nope, I haven't heard anything either. But again, this is a documented testimony to show you that without any shadow of a doubt, this man is nothing more than a swindler, a huckster, a bamboozler, a grifter who makes his living lying in the name of the Most High God and then lying to his creation. It's a double threat. This man is an inflictor of cruelty. As he is doing just fine, you can see with his custom suits, his custom shirts, traveling the world, lying to the children of God with no conviction, with no remorse, with no conscience. He is a false prophet. Jesus warned you about men like this. But for Kent Christmas, it's effortless. He's a performer. He has no trouble doing what he does. And he's getting paid for it. Where the world needs to hear the true gospel of Jesus Christ, where there are lost souls, desperate, being crushed with sin, who need salvation. That's what they need to hear. But this man and many of the other false prophets who have falsely prophesied this wealth transfer, they're shipwrecking faith. They're causing people to walk away from God because of this absolute lie. Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Seek Jesus Christ through his holy scripture and stay away from these atrocious, lying men who could care less about what Jesus did for us.